starting. So I really wanted to decorate something. I wanted to decorate cake, but it is 100 degrees right now and I didn't want to bake. But I do have Teddy Grahams. So I thought I'd decorate these and tell you the story of Aladdin. So let our story begin. So there once was this boy named Aladdin. He grew up on the mean streets of Agrabah. He was a thief and he had this friend named Apu, which was a little tiny monkey. And they were like twinsies because they both wore vests. And it was like really cute when they'd walk around because everybody thought that they were twins, but they weren't. One day, Aladdin and Apu were in the marketplace just minding their own business, thieving, stealing stuff, because that's what they do since they're street rats. And they saw this really beautiful girl. Ooh, and she's wearing this top that's blue and the matchy matchy pants going on and she was giving this apple to this like very poor boy or girl i can't remember from the movie and the shopkeeper was like excuse me miss you didn't pay for that and then prince jasmine was like um excuse me do you know who my father is can i talk to your manager my name is karen and aladdin saw what was going on and he was like you know what i gotta help this girl out so he went in the middle and he was like yo excuse me um that's my sister and um she's a little cray but yo she's a good people all right and so the the shop owner was like okay yeah all right all right and so he went back into his home and princess jasmine was like oh thank you so much that was very brave and i'm like maybe catching a little feelings i don't know yet probably maybe thank you i'm going home now so she ended up going home to her castle and Aladdin was like, Apu, next time I see that girl, I'm gonna shoot my shot. Now, while they're in the marketplace, this guy who was wearing black and a really nice red feather in his hair saw what he was doing. And he was talking to his little parrot, this little red parrot with blue wings. Oh, the prettiest blue wings you ever did see. Yo, you see that guy over there with the monkey? You know that job we need to get did? He's gonna get did that job we need to do. So he goes to Aladdin and he's like, Aladdin, yo, you the rough diamond in the rough. <laughs> you a diamond in the rough and I got a job for you. And if you want that coin, you'll get that job done. And Aladdin was like, all right, I see you, I see you. Let's see, what is this job? So he brings Aladdin to the desert and this huge kitty cat comes out of the sand. The job is you gotta go into this kitty cat's mouth and you gotta get me my lamp. And when you come out, I'll, I'm gonna have a lot of coin ready for you. And Aladdin was like, I don't know. My friend, his wife told him to go into a cat and he never came out of that cat's mouth. So I'm a little iffy about it. Now Jafar tells Aladdin, look, the only thing about this cave is you can't touch anything but that lamp, all right? Because if you do, something bad's going to happen to you. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. You're going to die. So Aladdin says, all right, that sounds fine as long as you make it rain when I come out here. And Jafar's like, yeah. And you know this. Into the kitty cat's mouth, Aladdin and Apu go. And whoa. When they got in, it was like Fort Knox. There was so much gold everywhere, you guys. So they keep walking and walking and walking and Aladdin sees this rug and it's a really nice rug not like one that you get from Ikea maybe like Pottery Barn rug now the rug talks to Aladdin and the rug is like help me help me save me I'm stuck under this rock and Aladdin's like I'll help you and so Aladdin moves the rock and frees the rug but they call it a carpet because this is old timey Saudi Arabia and I guess that's what they call area rugs. They don't call them rugs, they call them carpets. The rug says to Aladdin, okay, I can fly too and I will help you on your journey. So they keep on walking and then Aladdin sees it. On top of this beautiful rock formation is this gorgeous lamp. And Aladdin's like, okay, I got it. Y'all stay here. Don't touch anything, all right? I'm gonna go get it. But while Aladdin is getting the lamp, Apu sees this beautiful rupee. Oh, look at that. And he's like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's probably worth a lot. And then Apu's like thinking about his finances. And he's like, you know what? My stimulus check hasn't even hit my bank account yet. Maybe if I just take this while nobody's looking 
It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Like, it'll be fine, guys. Aladdin grabs the lamp. Apu gets his hand on the rupee. The whole cave just starts to shake. And it's like getting destroyed. Oh, it's crazy. The magic carpet sees what happens. And he's like, come on, come on. Both of you, come on and ride me. I'll take us out of here. But while they're flying, something hits the magic carpet and they all go flying. But Aladdin and Apu are almost to the front of the cave. And they're like hanging on the ledge and Jafar's like, give me the lamp. And Aladdin's like, all right, here. And he gives it to him. And Jafar's like, sucka. And he walks away. Now Aladdin and Apu fall to the bottom of the cave. And Apu is like, yo, Aladdin, I got a secret for you. I stole the lamp. I got it. Don't worry, homie. We got the lamp for ourselves now. Aladdin's like very happy and he starts rubbing it. And what happens? This very blue, very muscular dad bod genie comes out of the lamp. And he's like, hello, you guys. My name is Genie and I'm blue. I have been in that lamp binge watching The Office on Netflix for like two million years, you guys, is, is like crazy. And it's like the best show ever. But yo, I got something to tell you. And Aladdin's like, what do you need to tell us? And he's like, I can grant you three wishes. And Aladdin's like, well, I would really like to get out of this cave. And boom, just like that, they were all out of the cave. And then Aladdin said to him, psych, that wasn't a wish. I just told you that I wanted to. And the genie's like, bro, I, I just got finished telling you how happy I was to see you and you doing me like that. I mean, like, how are we going to be friends if I can't trust you? And then Alana was like, yo, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. I'll make an actual wish this next time. Okay. And Jeannie was like, all right. Oh, I already know what my first wish is going to be. You need to turn me into a prince because there's this girl that I saw at the marketplace. I think she's a princess and I want to get at that. And the genie was like, you want like a prince with a guitar and high heels singing about a raspberry beret? I mean a prince with like a whole bunch of peacocks. And the genie was like, well, you know what? That's kind of the same, but I think I know what you're going for. And just like that, the genie transformed Aladdin into a prince and they did a little dance. And then the three of them went to the castle to tell the Sultan, yo, your daughter should marry me. And Jasmine was like, you know, what? I'm kind of speechless that you would say that to me. You don't even know my life. And Aladdin was like, oh my God, I'm not doing a good job. And then the genie told Aladdin, hey, yo, I made you look like a prince, but you got to act the part. Because I can't change any of who you are on the inside. I can only change what you look like on the outside, all right? So shoot your shot, and you better make it in the basket. And the Aladdin was like, ooh, okay, I'll try. So later that night, Aladdin went to Princess Jasmine's room, and it was pretty creepy. And so that's why Princess Jasmine's cat came out, and it was this huge tiger. And he was like, hey, you're Aladdin? How come you're so fresh with my princess? You know Carol Baskin's husband? Guess who ate him? So Aladdin was like, okay, I'll peace out. He like jumped off the balcony. And Princess Jasmine was like, no, 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 don't do that. Oh, just like magic, he came back up. Jasmine was like, how are you doing that? And Aladdin said, you like whipped cream? Because I got a cool whip. Here, let me show you the world. And so Jasmine went on the magic carpet on the, the aerial rug. You know what? Have you ever seen China? I can take you to see the fireworks in China. And Jasmine was like, you know, I don't know if going to China right now is the best thing to do. I mean, it's pretty cool, but I don't know if we should be traveling outside of the region with this day at home order we got from our governor. And Aladdin was like, yo, but I'll make sure that we don't land in China. And I got a whole bunch of hand sanitizer in my pocket and an extra mask just in case. So we should be good. And Jasmine was like, yeah, well, I think th I think that sounds pretty safe. So let's do that. And so they went and he showed her like a whole bunch of stuff. Like, I don't know, some dolphins, a whole bunch of animals. And then they went to China for a little bit, I guess. <laughs> now Jafar sees all of this stuff and he's like, oh, that guy, I know that guy. His little parrot is like, yo, that's Aladdin. I don't know if you can tell because his clothes are different. But yo, that guy's Aladdin. So they try to kill Aladdin. Then the genie uses one of Aladdin's wishes to save him. 
and so Ladin, he didn't die at all. Now while Genie was tending to Ladin, Jafar was able to get hold of the lamp and he rubbed it and the genie came out and he said you're gonna make me sultan as my first wish and the genie was like I don't like you but you know what I'm I'm like legally obligated by the lamp to grant your wish and so I'll do it and so he made him sultan and then he was like hey Jasmine you know what now that I'm sultan and I got magical powers you gonna change your outfit for me and he turned Jasmine into like this red wearing Jasmine I don't know why, but I guess that's what sultans do. And then he told Aladdin, look at you, dressing up like you somebody, you ain't nobody. And so he took Aladdin's clothes and he made them back into like the peasant clothes. But it was still pretty cute because him and Apu were matching again. And he banished him into, I don't know, the snow. They never really clarify, it's just like some place where there's snow. And so like they're like freezing to death in the snow and Aladdin's like, Apu you're very small, come in my come in my vest and I'll keep you warm but then the carpet the magical rug came and was like yo I got you homie we'll fly you back to Agrabah so they get back to Agrabah and they confront Jafar and Aladdin's like yo Jafar you want to know something you ain't nobody unless you a genie and Jafar's like you're right I need to be a genie or else I'm I'm not powerful hey yo genie for my next wish, you're gonna make me a red genie. And genie was like, all right. With a little bit of magic, Jafar turns into the red genie. But little did he know, when you become a genie, what? You get sucked into a lamp and you gotta take orders from everybody else. And so they had like this mini party where everyone congratulated each other and the Sultan came back and he was like, Aladdin, you were nobody and you were a thieving street rat but now you can marry my daughter hold on let me change back into my blue outfit and then aladdin was like genie come here and the genie came up and he was like well you want your third wish and aladdin's like yeah to set you free homie and then the genie was like oh my god i take back everything bad i ever said about you you are the real mvp aladdin and then he like hugged him and then Jasmine pulled out her iPhone and she was like taking pictures so that she could post it on Instagram and hashtag brotherly love. And then they were like, come on group hug. And so everybody, even the the carpet, the rug came and was a part of the group hug it's like that. The end. The end. Did you guys like it? Was that funny? It was entertaining to me. <laughs> I really liked doing this. It was so much fun. A little frustrating at times, I will admit, cutting all these tiny pieces of fondant and making them stick on these extremely small cookies. Um, but it made me remember how much I love storytelling. And they look so cute. I'm curious, what story would you like me to tell next? Pocahontas, Cinderella, or Beauty and the Beast? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Bye.